Hi, I'm Daniel from LIGO.co.uk and this is the Pure Evoke Play. The Evoke Play is a brand new radio that's just been released by Pure. It's got DAB and FM modes as well as internet connectivity and Spotify Connect. It's quite expensive at £250, but is it any good? Let's take a look. 2022 marks the 20th anniversary of Pure making digital radios, and to mark the occasion, they've added three new entries to their flagship Evoke range. There's the Evoke Play, which I've got here, the Evoke Spot, which is slightly smaller and a bit more portably suited, and the Evoke Home, which is bigger than this one and boasts the built-in CD player. Pure are probably best known for their wooden cased radios, but as you can see, they've gone for something a bit more sleek and minimalist here. I've got the cotton white version of the Evoke Play, but there's also a coffee black one as well. On the front, you've got this nice woolen speaker grill, which is made from eco-friendly wool that's crafted here in the UK. And in terms of size, if you're familiar with Pure's existing lines, then it's about the same size as their Evoke H4. So it's a bit bigger than a, a smaller portable radio, but it's still nice and compact. The big thing to mention here is the flip up LCD screen, which also serves to hide away some of the controls when not in use so the radio looks a bit less cluttered. It's not the highest resolution screen we've ever seen, but it is clear enough to show album artwork and station information clearly, and it does make navigating the menu system a little bit easier as well. All the basic controls for the Evoke player on the outside here. You've got the volume wheel, which also acts as the power button and lets you play and pause tracks, and this lights up when the radio is switched on. There's also four one-touch preset buttons for quick access of your favorite stations, as well as a forward and backwards button. So when you've got the radio up and running, you can just flip the screen back down and all the controls you need are, are still at your fingertips. Additional controls for switching the source or going through the menus are located here underneath the screen. I won't go into great detail about what they all do, but they are relatively self-explanatory, so you shouldn't have too much difficulty getting to grips with the Evoke Play. Finally, there's a metal carry handle on there as well, which as you can see, tucks away nicely when not in use. As for sound quality, I was pretty impressed with the Evoke Play during testing. The last radios that I tested were some ones from Roberts, and while they had a bit better grasp on dynamics than this one, the Evoke Play wasn't that far behind, and it is considerably more powerful as well. There's a single woofer in the middle with twin tweeters either side, so it's got stereo sound and really good projection. The volume goes all the way up to 32, but during testing I only had it at about 16, and that was more than loud enough for a, a smaller or medium-sized living room. There is some audible distortion that starts to creep in at high volumes, but again, unless you're trying to fill a really big space, you probably won't have it turned all the way up there. Uh, all in all, I did really enjoy testing the speaker, so no complaints there. In terms of features, the Evoke Play has your standard DAB and FM modes, as well as DAB Plus compatibility, as most digital radios tend to have nowadays. As I mentioned earlier, you've got these four preset buttons here, which is really useful as it means you can just turn it on, it'll already be on the DAB mode, and you can just access the stations you listen to most without even having to flip up the screen. If you've got more stations you want to save, then there's also an additional button here, this little one with a heart on, which saves extra presets into a separate menu. A bit more excitingly though, and as you'd expect for a radio at this kind of price point, the Evoke Play also has Wi-Fi connectivity built in as well. That means you can access internet radio if you live in a dab black spot or you just want to have a bit more choice with what you can listen to. And while I've mentioned in the past with internet radio reviews that it can be a bit fiddly to browse all the stations that are available on the radio itself, if you know what you're looking for, it's easy enough to just type in the name and then save them straight to the preset buttons or the preset menu under there. And you do have some choices of how you can browse stations as well, such as by genre or location. There's also Spotify Connect built in as well, so you can connect up the Evoke Play and your phone to the same Wi-Fi network and set Spotify going that way and control it if you want. The advantage that has over Bluetooth, which this also has, is that you can set something playing on Spotify and then it's not reliant on your phone audio output. So if, even if you go out of range or you're playing something else on your phone, the music won't get interrupted. Spotify Connect was the way that I was testing this at home, listening to all different stuff to test the audio quality, and it all sounded good, so no complaints there. There's no remote control included with the Evoke Play, but it does boast app control with a third-party software called Undock. Some people have found this to be a bit slow, but it worked fine on my phone. It's also a bit more convenient to use to switch sources or stations than having to go up to the radio itself and do it through the screen. Finally, you can also make the Evoke Play portable with the addition of a bespoke add-on battery pack, something which you can't do with the other new Evokes. However, it's worth mentioning that this battery pack is quite expensive, especially considering the initial cost of the radio, and you can't just use standard batteries. 
We didn't get one to test with our one, but Pure say that this will offer up to 12 hours battery life from a single charge, which is good for a radio of this size. So there we have it, the Pure Evoke Play. While it's a little on the expensive side, it's still a really solid performer, and we really like the new modern design that they've gone with for these. To find out more, or to get your hands on one for yourself, go to ligo.co.uk.